It is great to be an American. It's great to be a Texan. It's great to be the first woman comptroller. But it doesn't get better than being here today with the men and women who are improving the lives and livelihoods, paychecks and jobs, health and well-being, not only of all Texans and all Americans, but globally with integrity, intellect, and caring by providing competition and championing the entrepreneurial private sector spirit and making ideas change the world. I am proud to be with you. I salute the National Center for Policy Analysis and the Hatton W. Sumner Foundation. Thank you so much for having me here today. Uh, you know, your introduction, Jeanette, is a whole lot better than that fellow who introduced me rather quickly uh, some years ago in East Texas. And Senator introduced me as having been the first woman mayor of Austin. He introduced me as having been the first mayor of Austin. And uh, I was in the back of the room, and I said, that was 1839. And this fellow sitting next to me said, hey, you look really good. Uh, uh, everything is relative. Uh, you know, I went from being touted as the youngest woman mayor of Austin to this last time I ran as one tough grandma, so you know a few decades have gone on in between. But let me say a very special thank you, not only to NCPA and, uh, and you, Jeanette, for your wonderful introduction, but to Dr. John Gibbon. What a dynamic duo you two are, and what a difference you're making from medical savings to all the rest of great, uh, great issues here. Um, my greatest accomplishment, bar none, are my four grown sons, and I'm glad you mentioned them because I certainly would. Uh, my eldest son and my dear friend, Gene Tower Cox, was just nice enough to hand me. I hadn't looked at the executive alert here with NCPA, and Dr. Mark McClellan is right there uh, in your executive alert. My eldest baby, Dr. Mark McClellan, who is the chief of Medicare and Medicaid now for these United States, uh, my middle two sons, uh, Brad and Dudley are fine lawyers in Austin, uh, both in the public sector and Texas Bar Association. It's guess about the closest thing to the public sector, along with Attorney General's office. And then baby boy Scott. Uh, it's a little leap for me when I watch him speaking for the free world here for the president because I can still remember when I was running for mayor and he'd say, please vote for my mother. But he can say his TH is now. And, uh, and I'm proud of the job he's doing for our proud of the job he's doing for our great president and former governor of this state, George W. Bush.